What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. This time we're taking a look at Dick Tracy, starring and directed by Warren Beatty. Now, Dick Tracy is based off the old school comic, uh, comic strip of the 1930s. Now, a lot of people consider Dick Tracy to be a pseudo superhero type of uh, type of character because the character of Dick Tracy, he kind of has the tropes of what a superhero is, pretty much. And the closest thing that can resemble Dick Tracy is that of Batman. Because when you look at Dick Tracy, he has a distinct look. The yellow hat and the trench coat. You know, he has technology in a world that's grounded in the time period that it's based on, which is like 1938. He has high-tech technology, like a talking watch. He has a kid sidekick. He has a colorful gallery of rogues villains. So one can say that Dick Tracy is a kind of an unofficial superhero type of character. And I think with this movie, Warren Beatty did a really good job at bringing that notion and the character of Dick Tracy to life. Now, I also, I, I kind of consider this to be kind of an underrated type of movie because for what it is, this is a good, solid movie. You know, it's a wonderful homage to those old gangster movies of the 1930s. And not only that, Warren Beatty did a really great job at making this movie feel like a comic book book slash comic strip come to life this movie from a production and technical standpoint looks absolutely gorgeous the matte paintings and miniatures in this movie all look spot on the wardrobes are very very stark and very very colorful and they just pop right at you uh if i could compare it to anything think of the adam west batman tv show in terms of just the popness of the colors and of the villains because these villains have like very colorful names like big boy flap top mumbles they all have a gimmick and a shtick and I think uh, Warren Beatty captured all that perfectly. Not only that, you have a movie that has a really solid cast. You know, you have Warren Beatty in the particular role at, as Dick Tracy. And I think for what it is, he's really, really good in the role. He gives uh, Tracy this very stern, uh, this very stern uh, quality to him. But at the same time, he he also gives him a lot of a lot of heart. And he's instantly, and even though he's a by the book cop. He's also really likable at the same time as well because of the interactions that he has with his girlfriend Tess in which there's this really funny running gag where Dick Tracy is a ace police officer but he stumbles to try and ask his girlfriend to marry him and it kind of makes Tracy feel grounded and human in a way where it's easy to relate to. Um, and he also has the kid sidekick whose name is just Kid who he finds on the street who eventually becomes his adopted son and they have a nice little bond going on as well that also helps tr humanize Tracy. And also, I like the scene that Tracy shares with Al Pacino, who plays the villain Big Boy. Big Boy is this over-the-top mobster who wants to take over everything. And Al Pacino, you can tell, is having a blast just hamming it up and being just over-the-top with it. So, and this movie also features Madonna as the character of Breath Breathless Mahoney, who you, can, who you can consider the Selena Kyle to Dick Tracy's uh, Bruce Wayne, in a way. Like, the forbidden love that he can't have because he wants because he has Tess who is the one who he should be with so like this so when you watch Dick Tracy and you compare it to Batman a lot of those tropes apply to this movie which is why one can make an argument that the Dick Tracy movie is that of a superhero movie and like all superhero movies it does have a lot of convoluted plottiness to it um, basically Tracy's trying to, dick, to take down big boy Caprice who he wants to take over the city while all the while there's this other uh, this other uh, mobster going around called the Blank who wants to take down Big Boy Caprice and have the city for himself, and they both want Tracy to join them in a way. So it's a it's a lot it's a lot of it's like a lot to digest and a lot of ongoing plots coming coming at you from all different directions. Uh, there are certain moments where I think Warren Beatty kind of stumbles on kind of stumbles them a little bit, but for the put to his credit, he keeps this movie. This movie does have a really good flow to it, and you never it never you never lose your focus. And it never loses sight. So from a pacing standpoint and trying and juggling these stories, Warren Beatty did a very solid job. Um, as a director, I can compare Warren Beatty to that of a Clint Eastwood. He's a very economical director, though I think uh, Beatty has a little bit more visual flash to him because this movie does have a good uh, film noir style to it, which really makes it stand out and really gives it a very standalone quality to it. And in addition to the beautifulness of the production and set design, it adds another element to this movie as well. Now, this is not a dark movie by any stretch of the imagination. It's an overall light-hearted movie, and it's and it, like I said, it's it's an homage to like the old Dick Tracy comic book strip, 
and a little tribute to the uh, to just like pop art comic books as well. From its story, from its char from its very colorful characters, it's very it's very comic book and superhero esque. The storyline, like I said, it can be convoluted at times, but it's overall entertaining. The performances in this movie are all top notch. Uh, Pacino is having a great time. Warren Beatty as Dick Tracy is great. The chemistry he has with the characters of Tess and the kid really helps make him human and grounded. Um, Tracy pretty much being the Batman of this movie who can fool, who whenever the police force is down, they call upon Tracy to do everything a la at the Adam West Batman. So it's a nice loving homage and I think Warren Beatty, to his credit, captures it really, really, really well. Um, now, Dick Tracy as a movie is not really going to be, and it's not really anything memorable or something that you're going to look back 20 years, uh, that you're going to look back after watching, hey, that Dick Tracy, they should have more. No, it, it's a movie that when you watch it, it's nothing really spectacular or special, but that's okay. This movie was not made to break new ground. It was made as a, as a loving homage. And I think Warren Beatty captures that perfectly, which is why I'm giving Dick Tracy a solid 8 out of 10. I think this is a very underrated movie and, and a very good uh, pseudo-superhero type of movie as well that's grounded in the reality that it's, that it's based in. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Dick Tracy. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Like the video and subscribe, and I'll check you back next time for more.